Hello, this is Brie Kirsch, and I wanted to talk a little bit about LibWizard today, which is a tool created by Springshare, who also created LibGuides. And I should mention that I'm using Screencast-O-Matic to create this screencast today. So I'm going to click on LibWizard. I'm in my LibApps account right now within Springshare. And I, you can see there are four options of what you can create with LibWizard. Forms, surveys, quizzes, and tutorials and assessments. Today I'm going to focus on tutorials since I think it has the most applicability for librarians creating online instructional resources. And I've already created one called Test here. And you can see there's basic information, and here's where I can set the status to public, so it's publicly viewable. There are other settings here, which I'm not going to have time to go into great detail, but I did want to mention there is a timer option here. If you want to say students only have 30 minutes to complete this, you could set that here. And then there are options for changing the page font and colors as well as other options. So keep that in mind. The settings are on the left-hand side. Over here is the work pad for the content area. There's an option for a welcome screen. I just put in welcome to the tutorial as an example, but you can also include links here and images, etc. And then on the end is the thank you screen. I just said congratulations on completing the tutorial. I also clicked the option to email the user the results of the tutorial or assessment. This is important to do if you want students to be able to see the results and share that email with their faculty, or they could actually put in their faculty member's email address here as proof that they completed the different tutorials from the library. So if faculty members wanted to include it in their course assignments, they could do that this way. So that's really helpful and important to know about. And then I've already included two contents. They call them slides. So these are similar to boxes in LibGuides. So if I click on the video, I click Edit. I've already embedded a video here from YouTube. Um, it's one that I created with Powtoon. And I've included a content here, which is an actual question. So again, if I click the Edit button, you can see what I created. It's a radio, and that just you have to include a short name. This is not something students see. Then there's the question text and the three answer choices and you can add more or delete the question answer choices. <clears throat> there's an option to require this question or keep it hidden unless a student responds to a previous question in a certain way. So for example if a student gets a question incorrect you could have them answer another question about that topic. Then click Save, Save Changes, return to work pad and I've also included a website here I'm going to add one more slide and let's say I wanted to add custom content or um, something else here I'll just say extra content and I can actually include a link from one of the LibGuides for example right here we have ABC's of determining credible sources so I'll just include that at this point and then you can see it pops up right there. Students will have the ability to click on the different tabs and buttons within it, and it keeps it on the right-hand side. So for those familiar with Guide on the side, it's very similar setup. You can add questions on this side if you want to, or a text block, or even a file if you wanted more information here for students. I'm again going to include another radio question here. And I'll just put some things in and then I choose whichever one is the correct answer and then I can again require it or keep it hidden etc and then I'll save it save changes return to work pad and there's my extra content slide that popped up so I'm going to actually share URL now I can actually embed this with the widget code um, within a LibGuide or a library website, but I'm just going to click on the direct URL right now just to show you what it looks like. So you can see our banner for USC Upstate is here. I'm going to begin. You can see here's the video. And then I'm going to say no, click next. And then here is the next page with the extra content that links to our library guide about determining credible sources. And again, I'll just pick one of the answers. And then our website pops up, quick links. If I click on administration, it'll bring it up within that box. And then I'll click submit. 
And this is where I could put in my email address. I'll just put in a pretend email for now. And then it says congratulations on completing the tutorial. And there is the option to retake it if I want. And of course I could turn that off. So that is how I use LibWizard to create a very short tutorial. So I hope that helps and shows you how this tool works. Thank you.